Have you ever eaten snails? Snails are super difficult to find unless you slow down, you stop, and you look really closely. Turns out they're everywhere. Can you put that another snail in there? Woohoo! Mustard garlic, snail hunting and snacking. Can you find more snails, buddy? There's a whole bunch hanging out. Guy, how many do we got? Do we got a whole bunch? Yeah, there's quite a few in there. We're in a broadleaf forest in a state park of South Dakota and- And really anywhere you look, you can find snails hiding in the leaves. They're very camouflage. I don't want to pillage a whole forest and then- Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh-oh. I don't really want to pillage a whole forest only to find out that I can't even eat one. So we got enough to have a little taste and if we enjoy them, we'll come back and get some more later. First, you got to clean the snails off and let them purge for a day before putting in some carrots and letting them feed on it until their poop turns orange. They've been eating holes in the carrots for two days now and all their poop is orange, so ready to cook them up. There you go, pull it slow so you get the whole thing. Hey, good job, big guy. So, boiled them up for 10 minutes, and then you pull the uh, snail out of its shell using a tweezers. This is what the inside looks like of the shells. Here's a quick tip that took us a while to find out. Sometimes you actually gotta break the opening of the shell to get to the meat to pull it out. And once you access it, it's a lot easier. And you can just grab it and boom. Gonna fry them for a few minutes with a little butter and garlic. Fried snails, first time ever. Here it goes. It's been a long time since I've had chicken, but uh, that's what it reminds me of. With a little bit of a bitter aftertaste, I suppose. I'm guessing that bitter aftertaste has something to do with the plants that they eat out in the wild but it's 10 million times better than the first time I ever tried wood lice. If you wanna learn more about plants, bugs, and mushrooms that you can forage in South Dakota and the Midwest, then check out some of my other videos because there's a lot of wild things that you can put in your mouth.